Zack Snyder been in this family for two months. It's been great. It's February 1st. And my question is, can you describe um, Christmas when you were younger, about getting your Christmas tree? About getting the tree? Uh-huh. <clears throat> oh, yes. When I was a girl, that was always such an exciting thing because we would go out and find one in the, the hills or something, and Daddy would chop it down and bring it home. And um, then when we moved to California, it was, we would go to a tree lot and, and pick out a tree, and it was always fun. And I loved the smell of it, and just so fun to decorate it. We had some of those um, quite fragile glass ornaments that are considered antiques nowadays, I guess. <laughs> but uh, and we uh, <clears throat> the most the hardest part was hanging the icicles. We don't use them nowadays on trees hardly at all, but the silver like thin foil tinsel. silver icicles yeah. uh, the tinsel was the oh, long that's different. oh yeah that you're right that's different this way yeah. it was sparkly too but uh, the silver icicles it was always the last thing you put the lights on first then the decorations and then the tinsel that would drape around and then the icicles and you probably have never seen a tree done with those kind of old-fashioned icicles but they really are pretty if they're done right. They just hang straight down and then the lights would they'd be reflecting the colors. But most people didn't have the patience that my mother had to put those icicles on so that they would hang down straight. They'd just kind of throw a handful of them and they would just glom on the tree. But if they're done right, they were really beautiful and I used to kind of think it was great if mother thought I was big enough to help put the icicles on. <laughs> um, we always bought our trees at lots. Once or twice we would go out in the hills, but I know Grandpa, my dad used to say, by the time you calculate the gas and everything, it's a lot cheaper to just buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it is to go out and get it. And uh, so, but I remember the icicles too, that was, you had to one at a time. They would stick together, and you'd have to pull them apart and just put them on. And uh, but uh, one of my memories of the uh, of decorating the trees was getting the lights. So that in those days, if one light went out, the whole strand went out, <laughs> and that was often the job mom and dad would give us kids find. <laughs> which one's not working, you know. And what, they had different strands. They didn't hook them all together like they do now. At least my recollection was there would be a strand and it would be out and they'd have maybe 20 lights. You'd have to take each light out and put it in a strand that worked until you found the light that wasn't any good. And that was... Uh, it sounded fun, but it wasn't. It was just, <laughs> just kind tedious. Of tedious. <laughs> very tedious. And, uh, but I do remember of uh, that. that was a, it was a big deal. Exactly like you say, tinsel and icicles and the, the lights, and and then putting the uh, putting the star on the top was always Dad's job when we kind of got the tree all done. And, that was kind of his big moment to put the, <laughs> put the star. And he would always go on the ladder. Okay, is everyone ready? And we were all watching. <laughs> and he put the star on the top. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Is that, did you have another attack? I can do another. No, you're fine. Let's, you guys want to have some time go to visit. Go ahead and do one more. Oh, okay. And we'll get it again. <laughs> about the California or Hawaii trip. What is it? Just the Hawaii trip? <laughs> no. Yeah. During the family vacation on the Big Island, oh, where all kinds of crazy too. things kept happening. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Um, tell me about the story of your family vacation on the Big Island in Hawaii, where apparently a lot of crazy things happened. <laughs> well, that was quite an adventure. That was, um, we were living in Hawaii when uh, Grandpa was called to be a 70, and they sent us to live in Hawaii so he could supervise the uh, work of the church in the Pacific. And that particular vacation we had planned, uh, because he was traveled a lot and gone, we, but he had uh, the 24th of July. 24th of July, the steak in, uh, on the Big Island. The Kona steak. The Kona steak. They, had, they always had a big, sort of a Western, um, <clears throat> a, a big deal out of the celebrating the 24th of July. And they invited our family down to be special guests. And so we thought that'd be great. We need a vacation, dance free. We can just take all the kids and have this wonderful trip. So we flew down to Big Island, but oh, the, just the day before? Or just it shortly, day, just a, 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 a few we days were, yeah. before we left, he had a call from Salt Lake from President Benson. Ezra Taft Benson said, we have just approved making a new stake in Kauai. on the island of Kauai, and this will complete, put all of Hawaii in stakes. Is that right? No more districts? No more districts. The, the whole state of Hawaii then would be in stakes. And I would like you to go do that on the weekend of the 24th because that's a, re a really fitting <laughs> thing for the Pioneer celebration and they had it all set up. Did someone else come with you? Or yeah, you Brother come? Anderson. <coughs> Brother and Anderson. He was the uh, secretary to the First Presidency. Okay. So we went over I think on a Friday to the Big Island and he went with us and they had a nice hotel and the state president there was so nice and they were just, they, they had rented a, a old limo that had four doors on each side because we had, Nancy was home from college for the summer and so we had all. We had all the children was, except and, for Emily Yeah, wasn't ten, 10 kids at the time. And uh, so we, we, the kids dubbed this big blue limo the bot, the, the bot. big old thing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was brown. It was blue. Was it blue? I don't know. I, I, you would remember better than me. I, I was only five. In so. my mind, that it was blue. But anyway, it was a, a really old, yeah. rack, rickety old limo. And uh, did you drive it or someone from the state? I drove it. Anyway, it that we got from good. the motel room that they had us in to the various activities. We got over there on Friday and then. On Saturday, they had a big thing with the uh, uh, horses and parade and uh, kind of a Western sort of things going. Well, they wanted, they were featuring Elder Groberg as the Grand Marshal of the parade. So he worked out his schedule. So he was, he rode the horse in the parade early Saturday morning and then went straight to the airport to fly to the other island to create the stake there. And said, now I'm leaving your, my family in your care to President uh, Hawthorne. Hawthorne, president, president, the president, state Hawthorne, president. State president. He said, we'll take care of them. They'll be just fine. Go ahead, Elder Groberg. And so he took off and, and went to create the stake. I should have let you tell that part then. <laughs> Well, I found this, we, we, yeah, okay. we made the stake there in uh, Kauai, and then I flew back, see, I stayed there, we did it Saturday, Saturday. night, came then Sunday. did Sunday, and then flew back Sunday, Sunday. about, well, our meetings were over like at two or three, it was sab Sunday evening by the time I got back. President Hawthorne was there to meet me at the airport in Kona. 
had this kind of a sheepish look on his face or a scared look or something. And I said, uh, what's the matter? <laughs> you can tell. He says, they're all alive. They're all fine. <laughs> We've had a few accidents. <laughs> okay, tell me about it. Well, the one daughter was climbing over something and fell down and broke her arm. Oh, they had, they had this, it was an obstacle course in their little western thing. <laughs> And Gail, it was Gail, and she uh, was doing this thing, and you climbed up, and, and then you had to kind of vault over the uh, that big wooden thing that was there, and she landed some way and broke her arm. And it was a bad break, too. I mean, you oh, could really? see the bone uh, oh, the out of line. Yeah. I don't, yeah. It wasn't... Not through the skin, but you could see, see it. it. Jogging, yeah. pushing the skin, you know, it's really gross. So they had to, we rushed Gail to the little clinic that they had there, sort of small hospital. And, and uh, it was bad enough that they had to put her under anesthesia to, to set it and get it <laughs> taken care of, cast and everything. So that sort of took that day. And then uh, Nancy came with me, I think, to take her. And Nancy had been having an earache the night before, but and then it was just getting really, really bad. And so she ended up with the ear infection and had to see go to emergency for that. And there was a third thing. What was it was it? Liz. <laughs> uh, I think she got cut on her coral was it? Or? I don't remember. I know there were three in injuries. Well, and then there was the fourth thing with Tom. Remember when you tried to plug the, the TV, TV in and it and blew it caught up? on fire? Yeah, were you gone for that too? What, what do you remember on that, Tom? The, yeah, that we just plugged and it in and turned it on and it just started just smoking and it burst into flames. Fire. Yeah. It, when you say a motel, it was really a separate it, separate building. It was yeah. just a oh. separate house on the beach. It wasn't a motel. Yeah, it was just a little oh. bungalow or caught, something. Remember you caught some fish? Yeah, that's my, that earlier question, The first that's my first memory of fishing. That's this is right. from the shore there. Yeah. That's right. You got, got, a, fish there. got a little fish red there. something there or other. Three, yeah. Those three things, the more I think about it, maybe the, maybe the team, I don't, I don't remember whether that caught far while I was gone or if that was at I another it time. Was that I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. there were three kind of major <laughs> things, but they were all alive. <laughs> yeah, it was a good trip. Uh, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Yeah, we drove all the way around the island, went clear down to Ka'u, which is the southernmost part of the US. Hawaii, but of the United States, yeah. and drove over to Hilo and up through the ranch land and then back down to Kona yeah. on the other side. Yeah. So that's our trip to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's do some.